In this video, uh, we're going to present how you can solve for a few statistics of portfolios. Uh, so what kind of information do we need? We need to know about the portfolio itself. What are the investments that we make? Now, the investments can be stated as either dollars or as percentage. So let's assume asset A, we put, we're going to invest $30,000 in asset A. Asset A has had a rate of return of around 12%. And its beta is 1.45. Asset B, we have $15,000 invested in asset B. Uh, it earned roughly about, uh, let's say it earned 10%, and it is 1.15 is its beta. Next, asset C. So let's say there's uh, $10,000 in asset C, and it got 8%, and it's 0.95. Let's just add one more. Let's say we put $40,000 in this, and it earned um, 7%, and it has a beta of 0.45. So as you can see, as we enter the dollar values here, the weights are calculated. Now, we can uh, alter the, the formatting in any of these uh, worksheets that I provide. You can alter this. So let's just say we don't want so many um, we only need a couple of data points. So we only need a few weights. Now the weights, I always, even when I do the form, especially when I do the formulas by hand, I always use weights as in decimal form and returns are always in percent form. Uh, it makes the math a little bit easier in, in the end. But um, so we can see here the what? We have $95,000 invested. 31.6% is in A, 15.8% is in B, 10.5% is in C, and 42.1% is in D. Here are the returns and the betas individually. So this calculates then the uh, portfolio return and portfolio beta. You can see the formula over here. It's equal some product, and then you identify the column right? The, the weights are right here and the return. So you just um, create the, or highlight that column. Likewise, you do the same thing for beta. We see here that this portfolio earns around 9.16% and the portfolio beta 0.289. So let's say we want to know something about how this portfolio should be performing. So let's say that the uh, risk-free rate of return is 2%. And sometimes we need to format these things, right? So you need to format them. So it's 2%. And let's say that the average stock market return is 10%. Now we can plug in the beta. 0 0.9289 is our portfolio beta. And this portfolio should have earned... 9.43%. It only earned 9.16%. So it is underperforming according to the capital asset pricing model. Now, the one thing we do know is that this is slightly less risky than the stock market in general, right? 0.92 implies less than one. The stock market has a uh, a beta of one. So again, we can calculate the weights. We can calculate returns and beta. Now, of course, what we can do is say, well, let's say this was the beginning. And then we calculate at the end of the year, we calculate the, the investment. So then we can see how it's returned for the year. But we also can identify the changes in the weights. One of the things we do investing is something called rebalancing. We want to rebalance our portfolio so we keep uh, consistent types of uh, proportions of our investments. 
again, that's the end of this video. Uh, hope to see you uh, in some future uh, uh, videos. Bye-bye.